episode two of season four of BBW, man. Beers, bourbon, whiskey podcast, man. It's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man, Angry Principal, off camera as usual. Yeah, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Shout out to my man, Bo, who's on vacation right now. Uh, probably somewhere sipping lemonade. <laughs> but he actually already taste tested uh, the one that we're doing today, uh, which is Duke and Dame. All right, so uh, Duke and Dame is, uh, I believe it was 2018, most awarded uh, flavored whiskey. So, uh, as you can see, or maybe not can see, uh, there's all of the awards all the way around the uh, bottle. And yes, we already opened the bottle, so <laughs> the bottle has already been opened. Uh, real quick, shout out to uh, V from V's Mobile Bar, who was actually on the uh, uh, Wake and Bake show on Friday morning and made some cocktails with uh, Duke and Dame, so that came, that came out pretty wonderful. Um, matter of fact, we won't be actually sharing any recipes because she said she wants to sell those, uh, but <laughs> she may come on the show and mix a couple of concoctions for us, so that'll be cool. Um, so, yes, it is flavored whiskey. It is salted caramel, and uh, as you know, uh, Bo, who's not here, and uh, also uh, Angry Principal, they are normally dead set against uh, flavored whiskey. Uh, me, on the <laughs> <Can't> other hand... <laughs> <laughs> me on the other hand i have a, a sweeter palate so like uh, a sweeter uh whiskey is, is definitely okay with me I, like i remember i had the uh salted caramel uh crown royal which angry principal completely just thought was disgusting <laughs> i don't even think he drank none of that did you? no i spit it right out couldn't take it <laughs> <laughs> like he fake tried it like that was out cold man again uh shout out to uh also lazar and my homeboy diddy uh who are representatives of uh Duke and Dane, which is a black owned company uh, from Florida, actually. So um, I can't remember how many it was. He told me the story, but we will we'll actually be having Diddy on and probably in a couple of weeks uh, to do some more in depth about uh, what's going on with Duke and Dane. Um, but we're here. It's already open. So I'll let you do the honors of pouring yourself up some. And uh, it's probably not going to pop because. Paul, let's, let's see. Right, oh, <laughs> I mean, a, a pretty good one, too, low key, though. Um, so I will tell you this, though. Um, I, I like it, uh, frozen or chilled rather. Uh, so I left it in the freezer actually overnight, um, because it is a sweeter, like obviously salted caramel. Um, it, I think it does taste, uh, taste better. Cold. <laughs> Yeah, angry principal. I, I wish I wish we had the camera on angry principal. I think the I think the nose was a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I will give it this. It's got the caramel. It's got the vanilla. So for sure, you really do. What's that? Uh, candy? The Werthers. Yeah. Uh, yes. You feel like you really yes. chomping into a Werthers with a little bit of a kick, bro. Yes, yeah, Werthers. It, it, that it, is it. That vanilla is overpowering for yeah. it. Now this is this is a little bit sweeter, um, even the smell than the uh, Crown Royal. But like I said, I, I actually like it though. This is taking me a lot to do this now. <laughs> Just letting you know this. Now it is sweeter, but like you said, there there is a a bit of a bite, not much, right? So it kind of evaporates pretty quickly, um, and I think it is. It is exactly what it says it is. It's it's salted caramel. Remember when we were uh we went to Detroit City Distillery and they had those caramels in the right, in the right. little gift box? This is exactly what that tastes like. Exactly. Exactly like salted caramel. Like there's Yeah, definitely. So again, I think that uh, I know you mentioned off camera that possibly a uh, warm cider would actually go good we with actually this. We tried this okay. uh, with some warm cider um the Duke and Dame and just a little bit of lemon juice and mm -hmm. it was it was perfect. It was a it was really perfect. good thing if uh instead of tea, yeah, something yeah. with a little bit of a kick. Okay. That's what we did. Gotcha. So that, that, makes that sense. worked out really well. Just a little bit of lemon juice. The lemon did, probably took some of the sweetness yeah, out a little Duke bit. Duke and Dame and then some uh, apple cider. And okay. so you, you had your sugar, you had your sweet, you had your caramel. Okay. Everything was rolled into like caramel one. apple. Yeah, the caramel gotcha. apple. That was that was truly okay. what it was. So yeah. All right. that was a good little spot. Well you guys hear that, right? So Angry Principal, who's not normally a fan of a uh, of flavored whiskey, found a way to actually enjoy it. <laughs> now if you were if you were looking to uh to drink it by itself, um I would definitely say that chill it is a lot better. Um now I wouldn't say well possibly you could probably drop a couple of ice cubes in it. I'd rather actually just place it in the freezer overnight. Um, that does it for me. Uh, would I? I guess what I would insist on though with this one because it is flavored, I probably would actually try that mix 
uh, more than not. But I will tell you though, uh, Shot from the Shot versus Everybody podcast loves Duke and Dane. Though, like he, he got like twelve bottles. Like, uh, okay, I, he, he's excited about I'm it. Not surprised. <laughs> he said, You're not surprised. <laughs> but we also enjoy uh, Vanilla Crown, which the Vanilla Crown isn't this sweet though. Okay, so I'm a full disclosure. I do not like any flavored whiskeys. I don't like them. Right. They are not my cup of tea. Now, out of this, out of all those flavored whiskeys that I've been forced to taste. <laughs> been forced to taste. Duke, Duke and Dane, this one is probably the best tasting one that I've had. Okay, I got you. That's the best way I can put it. It's the best <laughs> one out of all the ones I've tasted. And if you are one of those uh, Honey Jack or mm. Vanilla I like Crown Honey Jack. or anything, and see that's that's I'm I, yes I'm talking about you, but at the same time I understand that's your flavor, <laughs> flavor profile. Drink what you like, how you like, mm -hmm. and when you like. But you know, flavored whiskey is not for me. With Duke and Dame, this is probably the best tasting one. This, it doesn't make me <laughs> really make you mad. Yeah, <laughs> it it make you mad. Me mad that I had to taste this. <laughs> so. <Right. laughs> Is it something that I will drink for me? No. Yeah. Is it something that I'll have in the house for those that may want it? Yeah. Yes. Is it okay. something that my wife may actually drink? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. She'll actually take that with what she has some with the uh, apple, apple cider. cider. So that worked out well. Okay. All right. So yeah, I I agree. Um, I agree almost. <laughs> the only thing I don't agree with is uh, I I would actually I would drink it because like you said I I enjoy um vanilla crown I do enjoy salted caramel crown and then uh. Also, I think we had salted caramel. Uh, I want to say Old Smoky, maybe. I can't remember who who made it. But I, I've had a few salted caramels. And I will say this, though. I know you uh, mentioned uh, flavored whiskeys as a whole. But um, just as salted caramel goes, this is still by far like probably the better ones that I've had. And I, I definitely want to try it in the, in the warm apple cider, though. Like, yeah, I think I want to go get some apple cider right <laughs> after this. Like, for this real. This is something you could actually experiment with in some cocktails and, yeah. and be okay. Especially sure. if you're going to have people who don't drink whiskey at all. Yeah. This would be a good thing to introduce them to some type of whiskey that, uh, some type of brown liquor that, True. you know, uh, yeah. instead of just the uh, cognac. Right. This would be something, especially uh, for those with a softer palate and like a much sweeter palate may yeah. enjoy. Right. Now, it's definitely, a, it's definitely a cocktail drink for sure. Like, I... Um, we're drinking it now just to uh, give you a kind of a taste of, of what it's like. So just looking at it from from purely a whiskey standpoint, um, the nose is is, is heavily uh, heavily caramel to me. A little bit of vanilla as well. Um, there's like there's no spice or or like charred wood kind of taste. Like none of what you would think of when you think about bourbons or whiskeys. Um, however, it doesn't it doesn't just uh, it, it doesn't just go down like Kool Aid. So there's like about this much of a hug at the end uh, to to remind you that you're drinking alcohol. But I, I will tell you this though, because of that though, it will certainly get you together though. Like it will get you together accidentally. I understood that from yes uh, from Friday when we were doing the Wake and Bake show and V from V's Mobile Bar uh, made us a cocktail and I mean the glass was probably about a little bit taller than this one and I don't know what else was in it. I do know orange some orange juice was in it. And it, it tastes delicious. And it tastes so delicious, I drank it extra fast. And then next thing you know, we were talking extra crazy <laughs> on the show. So, like, it, it'll get you there because it because it, it, it actually tastes good. So, it'll get you there. Um, drinking it by itself, though, um, yeah, probably not. Like, you probably put some ice in it kind of to take some of the sweetness out. I If I'm going to drink it by itself, I'm just going to put it in the freezer overnight and do it like that. Yeah, I'll never drink it by itself. It's always going to be mixed in with <laughs> always, something. Right. <laughs> but like I said, out of, out of all the flavored ones that you all have forced me to taste over the years, <laughs> this is probably the best tasting one. Well, let me ask you this before we get out of here for today's episode. Would you would you make an old-fashioned with a flavored whiskey? Because I've, I've actually yes. never had one. Yes. Um, yeah. I've done it with a high-proof whiskey, mm -hmm. a cherry whiskey. Cherry. Then yeah. added the simple syrup and all the other ingredients Got to you. it to make my old-fashioned. Okay. It'll be interesting to see what an old fashioned tastes like with the salted caramel. I've never yeah. tried that before, so hmm. it'll be interesting to see what that would do. Use the higher proof bourbon plus the salted caramel, gotcha. and then all the other ingredients to see what you okay. come up with. Hmm. That's not like an idea. That might yeah. be something we'll try off uh, off camera. Um, all right, so th there we have it. Yeah. Uh, we've had we've had our uh, and, and plus also you got to remember this is the proof hunter that you're talking to. So <laughs> uh, Duke and Dame is uh, what seventy proof. So obviously it's not. Uh, going to be as much as uh, any whiskey, I don't think. Probably as anything, 35. Like, that's not flavored. Yeah, because I think I, I everything is 40. I have more than, than the 70. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 70. Yeah. But before you say that, 
I would be interested to see how this tastes in a Kentucky Mule mm, with the ginger beer. With the ginger beer. I would like to see how that balances oh, out. Oh, that could be something. Just experiment. Mm. It may be horrible, but at least the experiment to try it and see what <laughs> right, happens. Give it a shout out. I said this shit might be terrible, <laughs> but we can see though. Yeah, that could be a thing though. I hadn't yeah. even thought about that. Uh, all right. Yeah, maybe we'll try that off air one of these days and give y'all, give you guys a, uh, you know, an update on that. Um, if you have uh, tried Duke and Dame already, make sure that you do leave a comment below in our YouTube description. Uh, let us know what you thought about it. Or if you think that our review is completely off, let us know that as well. <laughs> and if you don't have Duke and Dame in your area, um, it's cool because we actually know some representatives. So if you would like to have Duke and Dame in your life, then uh, just hit us uh, in the comment box or send us a, an, uh, an inbox, right, at uh, Beers Bourbon Whiskey uh, on IG. And we can actually get you connected with some people to, uh, you know, get some Duke and Dame in your hands, all right? Um, well, to the next time, man, we're going to finish these uh, last few sips here. I think Angry, <laughs> Angry Principal is going to force his <laughs> down. Force <us> down. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I think uh, also, too, I wanted to mention uh, Bo did say that uh, he wanted to give two thumbs up to uh, Duke and Dames. He said the same thing that you said, though. He said that although he isn't into uh, flavor whiskey, he said as far as flavor whiskeys go, uh, this is one of the better ones that he's tried. So yeah, I, I think guys are in agreement on that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we're going to toast up here and uh, to the next time, man. You already know what it is, man. BBW. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey. It's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man, Angry Principal, who's staring down at this last, <laughs> the last drop. Damn just that, drink that shit. Hey, look, check me out on IG, Damn That's Good Bourbon Guild, and uh, just let me know what you think about some of the things I have on the page. For sure. And drink what you like, how you like. For sure. Till the next time, guys. Salute. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.